All right, the third part here. We're going to go to the gym and uh, see if we can win. So the first guy we see here is Carlos. Brings in his dust skull. He has a bunch of new guys now. Um, I purposely don't have any moves left so I could struggle. And struggle hits a ghost type somehow. So I don't know how the fuck that's happening. But that was weird. He's trying to disable nothing. I'm going to water gun him to death. It's not gonna. It's not working out that well, but yeah, he's gonna potion up and stuff like that, swaggering me, hitting myself in confusion. Him using nitrate and taking me out. So I bring in a Zubat here, struggle just to finish this whole battle off because I could actually just finish this whole thing just with struggle. Because if it wasn't for struggle, I wouldn't have anything that could really do anything to him. So, uh, good thing I did. Look at that. So, slow poke, snapping out of confusion here. Struggling again. He's yawing me. Pretty drowsy now. Uh, ooh, it's, uh... Yeah, use a potion up. Still asleep, but I can wake up sometime. Hopefully. He keeps using yawn. I don't know why. Holy shit, I woke up, okay. So now I can struggle. He's gonna yawn, but that doesn't matter, because I can kill him right here, so... This first Carlos, this second Carlos battle wasn't that hard at all. Really? So he's gonna bitch about his Pokemon being weak from this gym battle. I'm like fuck you, buddy. They were not. I have to heal up quick and go through these uh, gym trainers, as they are called. They don't have that much. This guy's one guy. Spiro, Zubat, bring him in there. Do some astonish. Try astonish, and then I realize it's not gonna affect him. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Why doesn't ghost affect normal? I just never got that. So I kill him with Totodile with Rage. Rage is a pretty shitty attack, but it proves itself later on in the video. That's for sure. So, um, inside Totodile needs some more experience. So I bring Totodile up in there. He's gonna keep gusting me and shit. But I live with two! It's always nice. The Sand Attack, Akri's gonna fall, but that doesn't matter. Still kills him. Totodile gets to 14. And here's a Talo, which is kinda cool. Nice to see an outer region, I mean an out of region Pokemon. Kill him with a crit water gun, and you never get crits in this game, so that was pretty exciting. So, right now here, I'm just going to heal. And now we're going to try fight Faulkner for the first time. Now, he's fucking tough the first time here, because I'm only level 14, so his guys are 16 and 18, I believe, or... can't remember, I'm trying to use a supersonic desperately... And he's putting me to sleep, he's double teaming up, this is just the biggest shit fuck in the world. Now, after this battle, I battle him about ten more times before I actually beat him. So, um, it, it was, it was tremendously difficult. I've had to, I had to level Zubat up to 20 and level Totodile up to 17. Each one level before their evolution, so I didn't want him to evolve off screen. So, I just got him each to one level before their evolution. And I tried the gym again, and um, the clip will come on right away. But this is just the first time. It's just hell in this gym. Like, I just couldn't stand it. I was starting to get mad. So, <laughs> as you can see, I'm just about to get fucked in the ass here by this gym. Very tough gym. And now, here's the other clip. Roll the clip. So, in this gym for... Uh, about the twelfth time, we're gonna try face him again. So this time we're prepared with Totodile, and I'm just gonna use Rage because Rage 
sometimes can get lucky, and sometimes I can get one turn wake up. So I just got all out lucky, I think, on this this um gym match. I just got all out lucky, and I deserved it. Like after 12 times, you should get lucky at least once. I mean, to be honest, like he missed hypnosis quite a bit, and I was pretty happy about that. Now he pushed me to sleep here. Try to see if I could one turn wake. He gets a double team in, so uh, now I'm just kind of pissed off. And I have five HP. I didn't want to risk to see if I would wake up afterwards, so um, I just go right into Zubat here, and I'm gonna try and try my luck with Bite. Trying my luck with Bite, and it kills him. So I got that out of the way. He usually just super potions up right there. So now Pidgeotto is probably the most difficult part. And I supersonic him. Now the most lucky thing ever happened. Luck, lucky. It's just straight up luck right here. I heal Totodile out of his sleep, potion him up, and then he confuses and gets hurt in confusion like three times in a row here as I'm potioning everybody up. He hurts himself right here. And then I potion Zubat up. And then he snaps out, uses double team. That's only his first double team. So I'm going to use a bite. But it misses. He's going to fly. I'm just going to bite, and he's going to flinch, I'm going to bite, and I'm going to win. So, that uh, was the shittiest gym battle ever. I'm sure all the other gyms are going to be just as hard, if not more difficult than that one. Like, that was a pain in my ass. That was... Ugh. So now I can use Flash outside the battle. I get um, Mud Slap. So that's that's pretty decent. I like Mud Slap. Zubat can learn it, I think. Not too sure. Probably can. I don't know. So now I'm going to get out of here. And Professor Elm's going to call about the egg, and now um, we're going to run down to the Pokemon Center, talk to the assistant, and he's just going to, the lady wouldn't get out of my way, he's just going to give you a, a message, give you an egg, and he's going to tell you to bring it by Elm's Lab after, so yeah, just like the regular game. So uh, thanks for watching guys, um, comment, rate, and sub, see you later.